Hi folks, it's iProv here. I'm um, going to do a quick tutorial on a recent longer tutorial that I did. This one is just broken down basically to put four loopers or as many loopers as you want in one channel. Uh, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up an audio channel. Uh, this audio channel here is just uh, my vocals coming in. So you need an audio channel. You're going to drop a looper on there. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to group that channel. Okay, and that's your first chain, so you can rename that uh, loop one. Okay, so to duplicate that, you can right click and go to duplicate, and you can Command R to do a rename of that loop two. Again, you can just highlight that, do Command D as a shortcut, Command R uh, to rename it loop three, and again duplicate and rename that loop four. Okay, so what you have now is you got four loopers on the channel here. So if you click the chain button, you can see all those uh, are coming through the same one. So if I go back up here to the audio channel, which is an input, um, I'm going to send that signal to, I'm just going to rename this to looper. Okay, so I'm going to send that to the looper. Set the input is going to be... Uh, our uh, audio 2 is looper and that's coming in here now as you can see you set the monitor to on now as you can see here it's coming through each one of them so what I'm basically going to do is pull each one of these out so that the signal is only coming through one which is the first looper okay so next thing that you want to do is you want to open up your macros um, and what you're going to do is map mode and you're going to come up here to the chain and you're going to map the chain and that's now become the chain selector so as you can see it's coming in here if I go back up to map mode here um, and we don't need it going all the spread of 0 to 127 so it only needs to go as far as 3 ok so now when you turn it it's only going to go one two three and as you can see the signal here if i turn this goes through whichever looper so that's how you're actually going to send your signal source into whatever now the way you're going to select this instead of having to turn this uh, um, turn the knob here on your controller or on the chain selector here is we're going to record in um, a dummy clip so we're going to take the audio from and if i just take the audio from here uh, let's say three okay so there's nothing actually on three so I'm just gonna record that I'm gonna stop that clip so now what we have is we oh we still we do have audio coming in um, let me do this uh, Oh yeah, I got it. I'm gonna take the audio to just gonna send this to the master. So now there isn't any audio coming into this. So audio from we can't do no input. Okay, so I'm just gonna record one bar. And as you can see, there's no audio coming into that. So you can stop the clip. I turn this off. Okay, so now what we got is we got a two looper. Okay, so I'm just gonna rename this. I'm gonna call this uh, loop one. Um, <coughs> now if I double click on this and you come down here to the uh, envelope that you're going to open the envelope section here you go to uh, chain selector and select the first one okay so what this basically is is it's now telling it to go through or sorry what I'm going to do is uh, yeah it's now going to come through the first one so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that I'm going to rename that to uh, loop 2. Same again. Command D. Rename. Uh, loop 3. Command D again. Command R to rename it to 4. So if you look at these down here, that's actually in the uh, envelope section. And it's for the chain selector. As you can see here, select chain selector is the first one. So this one will come through zero, so I'm going to change this one up to one. I'm going to change this one up to two. 
and I'm going to change this one up to three. Okay, so now what I got is uh, if I go back down to the Reaper here, you can see it's coming through one. Select two, changes it to two, three changes it to three. Okay, so this is set on. Um, is actually is a one bar loop, so we don't need that. So if you just basically highlight all four, okay, and you come down here, what you can do is change it to gate, and change the quantization to none. So now it's it's just basically it'll kick in once you actually um, click on the clip. So it's coming through one right now. We jump across the four so that source should be coming in there so if i now send my audio source to the looper so as you can see it's coming in on four if i click number two now it's going to come in on number two and number three so that's how you actually get it in so um if i just do a one bar loop on this and i want it to come in on one okay so we see here one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four okay so next thing i'm going to do is if i wanted to send it in now on number two while that one is actually playing um we can overdub on loop two so it goes something like this one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four five. One two five. 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 three. F now again, if you five. want to send one it to three, send it into number three. Um, now the signal is coming in through number three here, so we can over loop that again. So as you can see, you can have as many loopers down here as you want. Just set them up in your chain, and your signal source will actually come in. So let's just lose all four of them right now. Five, one, two, five. three, four, 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 five, six, two, five. three, six, 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 four, five, six, Six two three six four seven six two seven six four seven six two seven six four seven six and that's how you bring a signal in so you can basically any source that you want uh, be it um, loops or MIDI make sure you send the audio to the looper and then you select whichever one you want to come into so that's a tutorial on having four loopers or as many as you want on the one channel uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it's me, iProv. Uh, catch you again sometime. Thanks.